Hello everybody, welcome back for some more Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. And now we're gonna head into the next world, which I'm gonna go ahead and try to get Neverland done in this next in this next episode or two, and then head back to Hundred Acre Wood whenever I get the chance. That way we can find out what the fuck was in that chest, because uh, you know, the more I think about it, the easier it is for me to kind of remember it. So that way I can just go back and be like, hey, what's in it? You know, watch, it's probably gonna be like a fucking attack card. Or something. It's probably going to be something completely worthless. More than likely it will be, but hey, not going to say anything yet because we don't know exactly. Well, let's uh, head back real quick because it seems like we got Glide instead, motherfucker. So before Jiminy decides to get his rocks off with a little Tinkerbell over here, I'm going to head back into freaking whatever that place was called, 100 Acre Wood. It should be one floor down and hopefully the game would actually let me go back and not fuck anything over. Because let's, let's face it, you know, wait, did they say the same thing here too? I wonder if they do. Yeah, oddly enough, don't know why... It's programming, I understand, you know, why even bother take him out. It makes sense to me. Well, basically, now that we have Glide, let's go see if this will work. Hopefully it does. I hope we don't need a Super Glide. I don't know why we got Glide so early, though. Like, why do they give us to it, give it to us that early? That's my question. How the fuck do we get back? There has to be a way. Well, maybe we just... I'm sure more like... Yeah, I was going to say, like, I'm sure if we just go out far enough, it should be fine. So let's go find this chest, which was back in Tigger's area. Which I know, I'm sure some people are probably getting a little pissed off at me right now. They're like, there's thing Alex, come on. We don't want to see you go back to Hunter Acre Wood right now. Gliding is slow, yes, but, you know, it's the only thing I have right now. If we have to come back with a super glide, then so be it. Which I don't know where we get, actually. I don't know if we get that in the Hall of Bastion or maybe even later. Oh, glide does work! Sweet! What do I get? Something good, please. Give Daddy a new pair of shoes. And it's a fucking... what I tell you? What What did I fucking tell you? Like, seriously, what the fuck am I telling you guys? I told you what was going to happen. Then I said we're going to get a fucking attack card. And it's going to be a piece of shit. Even though Spellbinder is okay, it doesn't matter. Because we still got a fucking attack card. I wasted all that fucking time. All that fucking footage. For nothing. For fucking nothing. For fucking nothing. Okay? You understand? Fucking nothing. It's just... Why? Why waste my time? What to put in my deck anyway? But why? What the fuck? <sighs> okay, you know what? Uh, let's take out Lady Luck, cause the hell, Lady Luck. At least Spellbinder is decent. I mean, recovery is an A. Attack, physical. Well, it's a physical. Duh. But it, well, it's oh, it's elements lightning. Huh. Special ca attack card with lightning based attacks. Attack is C plus. So not bad, but you know, could be a little better. But hey. Fuck you, get out of here. No one, no one wants that premium shit. Not in my fucking game, I don't think so. So there's that. Let's go ahead and leave Hunter Acre Wood because, you know, I got something out of it. I don't know why we're going to this event again. If they freaking make me go back and have to deal with freaking Riku again, which would be stupid on their part, that would just be utter bullshit. But, you know, hey, guess what? I have Spellbinder. Which means I could fuck him up with the lightning card. And we don't have to deal with Lark Scene anymore. I think. Now, Riku, on the other hand, I think we have to deal with multiple other times. Maybe. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, you know, I don't want, you know, it's not really a spoiler. It's just more like, you know, he's going to be an. He's going to be an antagonist, and he's just going to be antagonizing. So, that's how he is, generally, as a character. 
Well, there we go. We got a new freaking card. Awesome. So, hopefully it's good. I'm sure it probably would be. And let's see. What's this? I, I knew it was a Kingdom Key, but it's a 2. Unfortunately, that sucks. I wanted to do Atlantica next. Honestly, it doesn't really, you know, matter. But I still wanted to get Atlantica out of the way. But I guess we'll have to wait for Atlantica later. Because I'm going to get Neverland going. Let's try the Spellbinder. See what it does. Okay. Awesome. Nothing. <laughs> Not much of anything else. Not much... Not much different than everything else I've been using for the entire game. Just has a little bit of a different uh, recovery rate than most cards I've been using. So that's still good and all. It's just, you know, wish I could see some lightning fucking coming from it. But it does recover. It does recover them. That's not good. Which means I have to start skipping Spellbinder so I don't have to hit freaking yellow uh, Nocturnes or whatever they call them. No, red's Nocturne. Yellow Rhapsody, I think is what it is. Or is it Blue Rhapsody? It might be blue. I think this one might be yellow. Well, green, I think, is Red Cram. So this is Yellow Opera, then. I would assume so. Now, the thing is, like, they, they are kind of like music-based style names, of course. But is Requiem actually a music kind of thing? I, I'm retarded. I'm not really, you know, generally musically smart, of course. So that plays into effect of a lot of things. And now my phone's actually freaking working. Wow, imagine that. But I'm currently in the middle of a battle. I have no choice but to fight. Oh, no, 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 you don't. There we go. There we go. See, I'm getting some combos in here. I'm actually kicking some ass. That's not too bad. That's not too shabby, boys. Let's see what this does, actually. Oh, it reloads nothing. It reloads fuck all of anything at all. I thought it reloaded all unreloadable cards. I guess it means magic only. Uh, whatever. Okay, go ahead. Waste them. Waste the shadows. Come on! Just do something, Goofy, please. You're the only one who can do anything right now because Donald's gonna be a waste of my time. I know how he is. That's just how he is all the time. I probably should put some more potions in. Wait, what's that? That's a gold card. What the fuck? Oh my god, we finally got key to rewards! Like, what the shit? That's the first time we've ever gotten one of those. It, they're probably gonna ask for like a lot of stuff but that's the first time okay eh, let's see here and fuck you fuck you and we got spellbinder coming up so I'm gonna waste it on one of these guys gotta start thinking now cuz you know I'm getting a little harder actually hell the shadows are getting stronger like that's ridiculous like they're getting harder to kill they have more health now which I don't like that Ah, oh, fuck you, dude. Seriously. Oh, my God. And then more pirates. Of course. Or what are they called? I don't remember. They're either bandits or they're pirates. But we are on a pirate ship. So I would assume more than likely you probably just call them pirates. At this point. Oh, yeah. I don't know why I couldn't do another reaction command with that one, but okay. I don't know. This game makes no sense. These guys are just taking forever to beat down. Which means I'm probably going to have to start utilizing different kind of... Oh, Sonic Blades? Oh, because sliding dash is just... Oh. Oh, sometimes I'm a dumbass. Yep, I'm a dumbass all the time. Oh, also, you can glide in mid-battle. Or not. Yes, you can. Okay. I was thinking for a second there that I couldn't. Well, there you go. You can. So there's that. I also need to get a trophy for getting a certain amount of premium cards, too. Only well, problem is premium cards fuck me over all the time, so I don't want to deal with that. Uh, sure, let's just use that. Now, I could just... I probably should actually come back and fight off the rest of the Heartless. You know, just to be on the safe side here. I want to use another... I want to use Calm Bounty, though, actually. Let's see. Anything specific? Nope, not yet. Okay, good. Let's get into a fight, and then we'll head out of this room and go back to the other one. Thing is, the other room isn't really much of a big room anyway. So, that's good. God, dude, these guys take forever to murder. Like, four hits? Are you kidding me? Oh, they're not all dead yet. Unfortunately, we still have plenty more people to go. Which I freaking hate. Okay, let's try it out. Donald, go ahead and see what you can do, buddy. Lightning works. I like that. Blizzard, that's nice. Good job, good job. And now let's fuck him up with my lightning. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You see, the thing is, they have blue cards. I wonder what that's supposed to mean. Like, is that their premium? That probably is. Actually, I want to say something real quick. I, I know this is completely out of left field, but... Oh, not really. I mean, it deals with treasure rooms. Of all the times that I've gotten a treasure room, like the first time I've ever... Like, every time i played this game, which is like, I think that one time, 
I did get the treasure room card first here, as far as I remember. I think this was the first world I got it in. Now, I think the reason why I, uh, this is probably something completely stupid. I'm starting to think maybe it's because we're on a pirate ship, therefore treasure, therefore treasure room. So that might have to do with something like they want to introduce you to treasure room inside of, you know, Hook's ship pretty much. Spoiler alert, Hook. I mean, if you haven't seen the movie, there you go. That's where we're at. Basically Neverland. So you get the treasure room in Neverland, which would honestly make a lot of sense. And if that was the case, that's a pretty cool attention to detail. But it might not be 100% true because, you know, I think treasure room cards come up randomly. I, I don't know. If you guys know, please let me know in the comments. I, I don't know how to activate, or I don't know how to get my hands on them. I, I think they're random. If they're not random, then I guess give me an idea of how to probably proceed on going to get some, because, you know, I would love to go back to the other worlds and get all the treasure rooms completed there, too, just to kind of feel like I'm done with the game. But, you know, hey, that's just a theory, a game theory. So the thing is, I did notice that my cards do less damage the lower I go which makes sense so that thing I said about you know these guys taking like forwards to kill was stupid because it should only take them like three if I have a good set card now this is experience it's okay it's only like what five points one like one experience for all that yeah really thanks thanks a lot game okay I could put in Bambi and do all that great stuff I don't have gravity I think I could do Omni slash because I have stop and I have Cloud, but it would cost a lot of, you know, CP though, so I really don't want to have to go through wasting all that. Luckily, I have two of these reloadable cards, so I don't have to do all that shit. Trust me, guys, it would take probably a lot longer to use, to actually just reload cards than to ins instead of just using, like, you know, potions and stuff, which I think would take less time. It looks like we have a teeming darkness. Bottomless darkness, my bad. That's what they're called. I, I knew that. I was just, you know, testing to make sure you guys knew that. Okay, so first room's completed. Next, on to the next second room. It seems to me like this is going to be one of the harder ones to go through. Now, I did say, I, I did think that monster didn't have a keyblade, which surprisingly it does, oddly enough. But, uh, I don't know if Neverland has a keyblade. It might. It might have a keyblade. I don't know. Question is, I wonder what kind of enemies are affected to Spellbinder. Like, I wonder what like what enemies are weak to lightning necessarily because I, I need to know because it doesn't seem like anybody's really weak to anything it just seems like if you damage somebody with that specific element they're gonna get you know recovered which makes sense you know but it's just I would like to have weaknesses set at the same time the other thing that's weird too is I remember like looking because oh fuck about killed him I remember looking on, like, Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, like, trying to kind of learn about them and stuff like that. Like, they have, like, different elemental types. But I, I, I saw something about, like, them having weaknesses and such, and I was like, I don't recall weaknesses, but, you know, hey, wh what are they, if, they, if there are any? And then, you know, my dumbass believing that there actually was weaknesses to these cards, like, elemental weaknesses, I guess. I, I thought there was for the longest time. My friend's like, no, there's not, you know. I guess it must have just been the, the Game Boy thing I was looking up, because, like, there is a Game Boy game that, well, you know, from what I understand, is kind of odd. I mean, I don't know. The games, I don't like, really, I've never really played the games yet, so I, I heard they have, like, weaknesses and stuff. From what I've read online, they, they seem kind of, like, this the same kind of setup as most, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! games would do, but this time they're just, they add weaknesses and such and strengths and such I don't know I'm still kind of just new sort of to all this whole Yu-Gi-Oh business I recently bought Yu-Gi uh, Yu starter pack which comes with like 50 cards one of them happens to be fucking useless because I don't have spell counters at all so basically me and my friend actually dueled each other recently and it was pretty fun actually I've not done that for a long time but I've never done it legit and as far as I know I don't think we did it legit either because it, it, it didn't seem right. The, the rules seemed kind of off. They did give me a rule book, but I didn't read it. We didn't read it. We just kind of just went with... I went with what he said, you know, so I just figured he knew um, that he knew more than I did because I'm a dumbass, and yeah. Okay, let's see here. Oh, great! A freaking barrel spider. These things exist. 
That's right, I forgot about you bastards. Luckily for me, I don't have to put up with too many of you in one fight. At least I shouldn't have to. And that didn't work, apparently. Okay. Somehow, for some reason. I think if I had fire, I could probably just set them on fire and just kill them all that way. Oh yeah, pop goes the weasel. And done. There we go, sweet. Next set of enemies done. And we got a calm bounty. Oh, no, 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 no. Hold your horses. False bounty. So it fucked me up before I even fucked it up. That's that's actually kind of funny. Kind of a little bit ironic there. Like, even, you know, I screwed it up before the game even screwed me up. That's hilarious. I'm laughing my ass off. LMFAO. Alrighty. Oh, fuck. Me and the duck. Ow, you little bitch. Okay, that's a freaking bitch hit. That's a sucker punch right there. That's what that was. That's a pussy, pussy punch. Oh, great. Guess what? More. More pirates. Just fantastic. Just what I always wanted to fight. Did you just fuck off, Mr. Guy? Thank you. Or not. Just stay alive. Yeah, that's what I want you to do. You know what? I'm gonna have to, like, just wreck you guys a lightning. Just completely wreck you with my shit. Yeah! That did nothing. Awesome. <laughs> that always does nothing. By the way, this is how the fights are pretty much gonna be. From, like, here on out throughout, like, Hook's ship. Now, I think Atlantica might be a little easier to handle just because it's Atlantica, because fuck Atlantica. It, it should be. I would hope so. But I don't really know, necessarily. I don't remember. Because since we're doing, you know, Neverland now, it might up the difficulty for Atlantica later. But then again, I think every world has their own specific difficulty to them. Regardless. It seems like to me. Because, like, with Halloween Town, it's hard -er than most. Like, Monsters... Kind of easy enough, but then like you know you got Halloween Town. It's to me it fucks me over. Also another thing too, I still believe it. I don't know if it's true, but it looks like every time an enemy is stunned, it seems like you do more damage to them while they're stunned. So that could be a a helping thing. And I wish whenever you did combos, I wish it would do more damage too, but it doesn't. Okay, there we go. Usually it seems like you can tell when there's about to be another wave of enemies if after like before you kill the last one, they usually spawn more. That's what I feel like, but I don't know. We have a one? Are you shitting me? Okay, fine. Then we'll just do, you know, an actual calm bounty. I'm not going to get fucked over by a false one. Is that false Titus? Alrighty, let's do this. What do I get? Come on, give daddy what he wants. Daddy wants the best stuff ever. You know, I actually probably should just trade in my cards. I have so many cards right now. I could do that. Oh, I got teleport. The shit? You can use the magic, magic, or Peter. Which we haven't seen Peter yet, so... A stop arrow and an item card. What the fuck? What? What does teleport even do? Like, teleport me half across the freaking screen or something? Is that a level one arrow? Are you kidding? You, who do you take me for, game? Do you take me for a piece of shit? Like, seriously. Do I look like a piece of shit to you? And it's truth. But I need an equals of six. Oh, I have one. Great. There you go. Now let's leave. Okay. Back to the adventure. Let's go find fucking the key to beginnings. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. There's a door here. Let's find out. Another. 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 Okay. And pop. Was that a one? Did I, did I use a zero? I probably used a zero on that. That must have been a zero then. I want to use false bounty because I don't... False bounty is weird. I think it's the one that you get three chests and you have to figure out which one's what. Like, you get, you get a good card regardless. But I think two chests were like heartless inside of them, so you have to kind of be careful of that. But unless you're like me and you just want to fight out the heartless regardless. And if you're wondering what card is missed out on there, it's basically stopped, so. There we go. Got it. Wait, this is a dead end? What the fuck was the point of this room? Well, it's a great place to put a calm bounty, I guess, because it's basically a dead end. Okay. Oh, there's one up. There's one up, actually. Hold on. And boing. Let's see. This should be. A six or up. Uh, let's do Almighty Darkness, because Almighty Darkness is going to give me higher cards. So I could probably use that to my advantage. I don't know yet. Okay. Wait a minute. What the fuck? Hold on. What happened to my freaking... I don't know. I, I was looking... I was kind of reading these texts here, and I was... I sent this picture of, like, Spongebob eating like, one of the, um, switch cartridges, because, like, 
Nintendo was like, you know, the cart we made the cartridges taste for the Switch taste nasty, so people wouldn't eat them or whatever. Which makes sense, I guess, if it, if it's for kids, you know, to not eat them. And I sent a. F oh, I did. Okay, never mind. I was gonna say I sent a picture, and then you know, I didn't see it for a second. I was kind of worried, like they didn't see it. I don't know. Either way, fuck up the heartless. Looks like we got a key to beginnings, so I could just, you know, do that real quick. Get that out of the way. But, well, it might be key to beginnings. I don't know. No on this game. I may, I may be screwed over on that one. Who knows? Dude, I wasted that freaking shadow, though. Like, holy shit. Oh, my God. They got sixes on them. Oh, fuck me. Oh, God. They're, they're, they're packing heat, guys. They're packing heat like hardball. And fuck you. There we go. Nice. And a third way. Oh, uh, it just keeps going. I'm just mashing buttons at this point. Like, it just keeps on going. And looks like I'm getting, um... Uh, I can't really answer it right now, unfortunately. So I'll have to call back later. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, shit. This isn't good. This isn't good at all. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck me. Now I'm starting to run out of breath. Oh my god, it's getting hot in this room. I'm getting nervous. This is... Woo! Something's wrong. Something's wrong with my body. Stop me now. Okay, fuck you. Seriously, with the five. Are you kidding? Guys, I might have to end up the video pretty early. I don't know yet. I'm freaking out right now. I just missed a call from my sister. She's probably gonna yell my ear off for this. So I have to call that pretty soon. Okay, well, you know what? She can wait. Because you know what? I do things on my own, okay? Like, I, I can handle my own self. I ain't a dumbass. Uh, let's see what this door is. Uh, what you, a five? Okay, um, yeah, here we go. Oh, yeah, that's right, we have a treasure card, actually. Oh, shit, I forgot about that. Thing is, I probably should. I mean, I want to fight more, but I want to kind of head back. Well, that door is finally closed off for good, so we now have to go back there again. So I'm just gonna go ahead and jump straight to the next safe spot, and then just kind of end off the video. Which I could just end off the video at this point. Yeah, I could end off now. All right, if you guys want to stay for any reading, you guys can. For the rest of you, I will see you next time when we play some more Kingdom Hearts, Chain of Memories. 
So for you guys, take care. But for the rest of you, let's look at some of the cards that we got. Yes, let me see some of the fucking cards. Now we have Spellbinder, of course, which... Ooh, it's got a nice thrust. Uh, special attack card with lightning-based attacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's it for that. We got a new map card, which is going to be the Looming Darkness. All right. A room where Heartless attack rel relentlessly. Enemies often drop enemy cards in this room. So that's a good way to get enemy cards, apparently. We got False Bounty and Kitty Rewards. Uh, false Bounty, a room where only one treasure chest is real. Opening a fake chest leads to Battle with Heartless. So I was right. Okay, cool. Kitty Rewards allows access to a secret room with rare cards and slights. Oh, yeah, that's what I want. Now, character-wise, we got some new Heartless on hand, which is going to be three of them, Pirates, Air Pirate, and Dark Balls. A Heartless that mostly stick to Neverland, a skilled swordsman, the pirate can knock its enemies out cold and then finish them off with a vicious combo. If its sword flashes, watch out. Air Pirate, a winged Heartless that mostly sticks to Neverland. It's not armed, but it doesn't need to be. The Air Pirate deals a brutal punch right after its fist flashes. And Dark Balls, a Heartless made from the very shadows of darkness. A Dark Ball mostly just bobs through the air, but it's random weaving and biting are a nuisance. Which is weird why they spawn here, because I thought they spawn in Hollow Bastion. Or, at least, you know, I think after Hollow Bastion or some shit. No, I think they do. There's also that in Defenders later. Yes, yeah, spoiler alert. Uh, I could just make a room into a safe spot if need be. Well, you know what? I'm gonna go find the safe room. So, fuck that. I'm gonna make one. Like, the hell with this shit. He's a six or above. I got a six. Bam, I got three of them, bitch. Wait, I have three. Six, six, six. Therefore, Winnie the Pooh is Satan. All right, so here we go. Let's go ahead and save the game. Wait, is that more stuff I can get? Yeah, okay. Well, fuck it, who cares? Anyway, folks, without further ado, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. We'll play some more Kingdom Hearts, Chin Memories. And as always, take care, everybody.